Lee. Took a little knock from Hunt on the way through, but now Robbie Keane has picked it up. And onside here as Garley finds a way through towards Berbatov. And an important block by Murty. Otherwise, Tottenham might have got into the lead there. Trying to make sure ready that they stay nice and solid. Two banks of four, keeping their organisation. Berbatov, Keane, lovely football so far. Is that a penalty kick? The referee says yes. Rob Stiles has given it Sonko's challenge. He thought about it, and it is given. Now the warning signs. We're there from that previous run from Hassan Ghali coming in from the left-hand side. He times his run beautifully, and I don't think there is any doubt that that is a penalty. Sonko not getting the ball, clipping the man. Robbie Keane, who hasn't scored so far in the Premiership this season, is going to take the penalty. Never a problem. He scored now, all right and Spurs are a goal to the good. The first Tottenham player to score away in the league this season. Now the understated and underrated Steve Koppel, who took Reading into this division with a monumental 106 points. They were promoted in March before the clocks went forward and the first cuckoo of spring was heard. You see corner kick, Ingi Marsen got ahead to it, they're claiming a handball in there, the Reading players, or some of them anyway, not too heatedly it should be said. That will be worth another look, Ingi Marsen certainly thought there was a hand on his header. Just building up a little head of steam for a moment here, Reading. Shuri picking it up. It's Nicky Shuri scored. Ready a level. Nicky Shuri with his first ever Premiership goal. What a moment for him and what a moment for Reading. For Michael Dawson, he's absolutely furious with himself. I think he feels that he doesn't get close enough to Shuri here. But it's Dawson, I think, as he does go to close down, that it just blocks the vision of Paul Robinson, he can't see the ball when it's struck and when it shoots past Dawson, he gets the slightest of defect, deflections as well, which certainly doesn't help the keeper, takes it away from Paul Robinson, what a time to get that equaliser just before the break. They've really bitten back well and Steve Koppel I think will be delighted. Well, if they do get a result here, it could be a turning point. Here comes the corner, towards Doyle, and Sidwell has scored to put Reddy ahead! Steve Sidwell, what a turnaround here! Well, I think there's going to be some questions asked at the heart of that Spurs defence, because he's made his run from the penalty spot, Stephen Sidwell, Kevin Doyle at the near post, Actually has a free header when it comes in, but he completely misses it. But Sidwell is just anticipating that, and he just jabs out a leg, sees it very light, reacts brilliantly. Berbatov with a layoff, but not too accurately. Murty's picked it up for Reading. Sua Koto gives it straight to Steve Sidwell. Sidwell again. Doyle on his left foot, hit it well. Robinson, instinctive save just as well for him, but it was straight down his throat. He had to hit it pretty quickly, Doyle. Try to move, though. Again, good play by Steven Sidwell to pick out his man. Just found a little bit of space in front of the defence and he was given time to turn and pick out that pass.
Lennon on one of those runs. Oh, and into the side, netting by Jermaine Defoe, who'd been released. Oh, one of those sometimes when you're in the side and scoring goals, you find the back of the net, you get it across the keeper and find that far corner. Lennon picking out his man and the people in the box. It's, I think he's slightly miscused that, you know. Jermaine Defoe, what a chance though for Tottenham in the half when they haven't created too many. That was a massive chance, wasn't it, for Defoe? It really was. Now then, Doyle at the other end has scored! He's put it away! And Reading a 3 1 up! A second or two ago, it could have been 2 2. It's not, it's 3 1. Well, how much is turn on incidents, don't they? And we've just seen it. A chance of one end for Jermaine Defoe. A long ball out, a flick on, and that man, Kevin Doyle. Doyle looks for support, there's not much. The cavalry is arriving now. Shorey, who's had a great game there, and left back in towards Lita, who's denied by the foot of the post by Paul Robinson. Well, Paul Robinson puts his arms up and says, who on earth was marking him? It's not the first time it's happened. Doesn't get a touch on it. Hits on the outside of the post, doesn't it? This is played here to Lita, who was onside. It's Leroy Lita. Murty's arriving at the back post. Lita wants to go alone. Oh. <laughs> well, Harper was arriving <laughs> and beats the turf in frustration. This will be Reading's highest profile scalp so far. And it will put them seven points ahead of the bottom three as well. And they will climb above Tottenham Hotspur in the table. It's uh, rather given away though, it's found its way through to Jermaine Defoe! Oh, off the inside of the post and out, then in by Lennon and Berbatov misses a guilt-edged opportunity. And that just about sums up Tottenham's day. Yeah, I think that's right. Been around the block a couple of times. He won't, you won't find him overexcited after today's result, but I'm sure deep inside he'll be absolutely delighted with the way his players have performed and responded to that horrendous run of fixtures that they had. It is all over. Three absolutely priceless points for Steve Coppers' Reading side. They hung on in there after they'd gone behind, battled hard and got their reward. Kevin Doyle, who got the third goal. Steve Sidwell bundling in a second, but the man who started it all off with his first ever Premiership goal was the left-back, Nicky Shorey, signed a few years ago from Leighton Orient. That's a great win from Reading, who served notice here in front of their chairman that they will give a game to just about any club that comes down here to the Medeski Stadium. For Tottenham, the end of a 10-game unbeaten run and a very, very disappointing performance. Reading 3, Spurs 1.